Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I don't know what that clap was there. <laughs> um, but I am back today with another favourites video and if you would like to see more then keep watching. So can I just say it's so nice to be back filming properly. I I got ideas above my station when we came back from our honeymoon and I just assumed that everything would be hunky-dory and the kids would be back at school I wouldn't be planning a wedding anymore and I would have loads of time for videos but unfortunately <laughs> um such is life with kids uh, the kids have basically been off and on with various bugs and lurgies um which has really really slowed me down I've had to prioritize like um work and stuff um, and I've not had the chance to do as many videos or at least if I've been doing them you won't see them um, you know for a while yet because that's the way things go but um, speaking of work um, obviously with these favourites videos I tend to do them every month and share things that I've been enjoying from like food and drink and uh, television things I've been reading things like that and today I'm actually really really chuffed to be partnering up with Readly now if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I've been using Readly now for probably I want to say a good 18 months um it actually came up as a suggestion on Instagram for me at first and then I also got the pleasure of working with them alongside that and if you have never like experienced Readly before it's basically a magazine subscription app so you can use it either on your phone or your tablet and things like that and it's just fantastic so before I go into this anymore I'm just going to get it up on my phone so I can show anyone that's not experienced it before what it looks like so I hope you can see it here on my phone this is my account it's predominantly me and also bill who used this he has an account it also syncs up with our ipad i don't often get a look in on the ipad i have to say so i tend to read on my phone but you can see all the suggestions here for me there are suggestions based on what i've read before so this first one here is wedding related i did a lot of wedding magazine reading in the run-up to our wedding i think a lot of brides do and then the rest of the stuff recommended for me um, or favorited by others who are like me it tends to be like homey things foodie things women things and it's just great because every single magazine that I'm really into is in my phone and when I want to read it it's there there's over 5,000 magazines to choose from as well a lot of the stuff I'm reading at the moment I have to admit is very very related to autumn halloween christmas that kind of thing so trying to find any future recipes that i want to try out because i just feel like this time of year is the time of year for cooking and it's just fantastic and the best part about it today in this video is that i actually have two months free to offer you and then after that you can cancel at any time if you do want to continue it's only seven pound 99 a month you can use multiple accounts within that one account so you could have one for different friends and family members if you wanted to and i think you'll really like it if you like me and you're a reader I think you'll really like it so if you want all of the details they will be in the description box below but without any further ado I'm gonna go on and show you the rest of my favorites basically so first things first the thing that has absolutely stolen my heart recently is this jumper from Zara now I love Zara I don't always love Zara prices I have to say but if you want something that's a little bit different, despite the fact that probably everybody's going to buy it, um, Zara is the place to go. And I was just having a browse the other day because I really wanted like a different woolly jumper. I've got a few, you know, from seasons gone by that I'm obviously still wearing, but I was really in the market for a jumper. Do you know what I mean? And um, I came across this beauty. Now, I don't know if you can notice from the dress that I'm wearing at the moment and also the collar on this jumper, but I'm really into high necks. I've got a few high neck midi dresses that I like to wear with really thick opaque tights and like heeled boots and they make me feel amazing. And when I saw this jumper, I just, I couldn't leave it. I could not leave it. And I think it was about 29 99 which to be fair, for the quality of it, is brilliant. Um, it's slightly longer at the back. I don't know if you can see there. And quite oversized. In terms of sizing, I completely guessed because the Zara website 
Unless you want to know how something looks if you're standing on top of a cooker, um, it's really hard to navigate. And um, if you want to find out what size you are, you have to measure yourself. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I want to measure myself. I just want to know what size I am. <laughs> I want you to tell me if a large is a size 14 or not, please. So I went with a large and it fits fine. Um, like all of the Zara models are really slim anyway and I'm not but I'm quite happy with the way it looks and I just feel like it's really 60s 70s and I've been wearing it with like black skinny jeans and my hair extensions which I'll touch on in a moment and it just makes me feel quite sassy I've got to say so yeah I'm obsessed with this I love the colours I love that it you know it would fit in on sound of music just hanging out in the background there made out of curtains I just think it's beautiful so that's my first favourite I can't stop looking at it and I'm just obsessed. <laughs> My next favourite is a more recent purchase from ASOS and obviously it's getting to the chilly season now and I saw this hat the other day when I was having like a little window shop and it's so cute. It looks like a tea cosy, I don't know if you can really see. Um, but I just love it, I just think it's so so cute. You know like with your coat on and some gloves when it's cold maybe it's gonna snow and you're gonna make a snowman i just thought it was a cute little thing and i'm really really happy with it i love anything like this you know where it's just a bit granny-esque or like vintagey it's just very much a piece of me um and i got that quite recently and i'm just kind of waiting for the point where it's cold enough to wear it because at the moment i've just been trying it on and then going <sighs> Um, but yeah, that is a new one. So I will leave a link down below if you've got a similar taste in style to me, which might be no taste at all, but you never know. So that's the next thing. I have to sort my hair out now, haven't I? So the next few things, I'm gonna pull them at random out of my box. These two things go together. If I've been tagged about these ones, on like Facebook or Instagram or even on here, I've been tagged about them a million times because well, it's so kind for starters because you're all so nice. Like if you see something that you think I like, you'll always let me know. And I just think that's amazing. That's so kind of you. Um, and it's these, it's the Surf and Comfort um, in the Winter Sparkle scent. Um, Winter Sparkle is probably quite a good way to sum the smell up, to be honest. I'm gonna do a sniff test for you. On the description here, it does say spiced orange and amber um, to give you a rough idea, but it really does kind of smell sparkly i don't know how to explain that you'll have to sniff it yourself but it is orangey it is very christmasy and it's beautiful and um i was really really happy to find them i think you can find them at home bargains and b and m i'm not sure about supermarkets i found these at home bargains if that helps um but they're lovely uh, really really nice and you know if you like festive scents which i really do um then you'll love them i'm sure you will so that's nice i'm sensing a theme now with scents but the next thing that i wanted to share was this i shared it in my home bargains haul from the other day um and it's these wax melters i also have the white ghost one um but i didn't bring that up um because it's just stopped melting and it was like oozy and I didn't want to like potentially spill it on my carpet or something so yeah they are fab I swear they were about £1.50 something like that and I was so pleased to find them because if you know me by now you know I like wax melts and that kind of thing and I just I've been loving this every time I see it out in my kitchen it makes me smile and I love like i love decorating for the season so I'm, I, you know if you if you enjoy something just do it it doesn't matter if it's cool or not that's what i think anyway and that's what i'm raising my kids to think as well like life is so short if you enjoy something you've got to go ahead and do it um but i love i love getting my pumpkins out and going to a pumpkin patch and i love it when it's christmasy and i can get all of my extra christmasy bits out and my christmasy scents and then obviously spring like tulips and that kind of thing it's just a bit of me it makes me happy and i think sometimes with the change in season sometimes it's quite nice to just find stuff like this that makes you happy so i picked up one of those and the ghost one and it's brought me endless joy since and then what i have been burning um is actually this set here it's from a uh, flame sense i buy from this lovely lady a lot a lot um it's just 
I really, really like the smell she does. She's done creative. She's such a nice person as well. And um, this autumnal collection was right up my street. It included the scents Irish Cream, Apple Cinnamon, Autumn Leaves and Tinsel. And Apple Cinnamon and Autumn Leaves were chef's kiss i've actually ordered um some wax melt blots in apple cinnamon autumn leaves and then also mistletoe kisses which is another one that she does that i really like um just because i've fallen in love with those scents to be honest and um i want them in the run-up to christmas so i've ordered a few more but this if you want to try like a set you know give her a go kind of thing see what scent she's got then they look like this obviously i'm down to irish cream that's probably my least favorite because i don't really like baking scents as much as i do like the cinnamony ones oh anything apple and cinnamon at this time of year oh goodness gracious me um but i've been really enjoying that and um i just thought i would share it because i thought it was a fab idea and um I love her wax melts. I've ordered my mum some as well because she's asked me to order her some as well, so I have done. So that's the next thing, and they go together very nicely. I just had to stop here and delete something off the memory card for a second because um, I was running out of memory, but we're here, it's all right. <laughs> um, the next thing that I want to talk about, um, one was a gift um, for a wedding. I've only bought marks up mine up sorry because Mark's using his um but my friend Bex and her husband they got us this um Emma Bridgewater Mr and Mrs mugs and um I unashamedly am obsessed with them we have them out next to our like coffee well one of our coffee machine in the kitchen and um I use it every single day at the moment and it says to have and to hold from this day forward to love and to cherish and then it says that I like the inside as well um and i just i love them it's just such a nice gift to get um after your wedding you know something that you can just use every day and it kind of reminds you so i'm obsessed with these i will not tell a lie i'm obsessed i have a slight feeling that i didn't screw the lid on properly <laughs> um so it's really sticky um i've had this for about just over a week now found it on amazon i will try and link it however i bought this massive bottle for about six pounds which i thought was fairly reasonable for moaning however when i checked again it had gone to over 10 pounds and i don't really like to recommend things to you where i think you're not getting the best price so if i can find a better price i will do um otherwise give it a good google okay um because i don't want you to waste your money um but this is the speculoos moaning syrup and speculoos if you didn't know is basically the flavor mix that is in biscoff yeah is basically a warm Biscoff co coffee. Like, I'm a flat white kind of girl. I have a latte on occasion, but it's not often coffee enough for me. So we always have to have an extra shot. Um, but I use the tiniest amount. That's why you can't like see it come down yet because we're only like up to here. But I pour a tiny bit in the cup, in, in the cap, and then pour it into my coffee and then top with frothy milk. And it's beautiful. Like I don't like things too strong and sweet. Um, so a lot of the festive lattes that you can get in like Costa and Starbucks, I will generally ask for half syrups if you're like me and you find them a bit overwhelming and too sweet ask for half syrup next time um and even an extra shot of coffee if you like it more coffee as well but this is beautiful and i've really been enjoying it oh, i'm more sticky now <laughs> gross um the next thing that i wanted to share is um a bit random and a bit hairy but this is merlin's and it is his little halloween bandana um but you thread it through the collar here and bromas who makes these jenny she makes loads and loads of different types of bandanas i bought some from her before she actually gifted me this one she sent it through the post as like a little gift and what's really nice is that we speak quite often and if she's nearby to me soon because she's got a friend that lives nearby and um, we're going to try and meet up for a coffee which is lovely and um, she's really really nice person but i couldn't not share this um because if you've got a dog and you're into this kind of thing it literally just goes on the bandana so it's not like 
in any way restrictive and um, she makes loads of different ones and this is his Halloween one and it glows in the dark and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever so that is that. The next thing that I wanted to share for my readers obviously we've already discussed Readly but um, I finished a book recently and I thought I would share that as well because I quite enjoyed it and normally with me I'm like this with books and movies and series and stuff I'm really good at guessing the ending it drives Mark absolutely bonkers and he'll be like just don't just don't don't say anything because then he says that I ruin it so we've got a rule now that I write it down on my notes app in my phone and then if I'm right I can show him at the end just to be smug <laughs> Is anyone else like that? Are you really, really good at guessing or are you the other person who's not? Because um, I feel like in every relationship there's always one. Um, but uh, this had me flawed. Like I just couldn't work it out. I didn't understand who was behind it, it's a, it's a much of a like it's a who done it basically but it's the lost hours by susan lewis and um, she's a sunday times bestseller and i will read out the blurb so you can make your own judgment as to whether it's for you a loving marriage golden couple annie and david creasy have it all a perfect marriage three beautiful children and a thriving family business life couldn't be better until the unthinkable happens a long buried crime suddenly david is the prime suspect of a murder committed 20 years ago as the police investigate the cold case so does annie but it all comes down to a few lost hours she can't solve now annie must prove that the man she loves is innocent the clock is ticking Honestly, I really enjoyed it, so there's that. Might pass that on to my gramps or my grandma, possibly, because they both like to borrow books and stuff. Um, really, really good. Now, the final few things are beauty related. The first thing has to be my clippings. Um, I got these for my wedding, so if you've seen like wedding photos and stuff, um, you'll notice that my hair is considerably longer than normal, and it is considerably longer than normal today. Um, they are clippings as i've just said so they're not sewn into my head or anything like that so i can remove them and care for them like wash them and this that and the other as i please and i have to say it's been a game changer for me in terms of confidence sometimes because once you curl these they hold a curl very well so it can just be a case of like clipping them in again and then curling a few bits of your natural hair to blend more um the match was really really good sam who matched them um oh god Hello? Sorry, Mark just rang me, he was on the score run. Um, yeah, but Sam, who makes them, um, my hairdresser Jen, like, went through Sam, tested me to, like, match, so I've got a blend of two colours, and it's a really good match, and they should last me for a very long time, as long as I look after them, use heat protecting, wash them, care for them, brush them, that kind of thing. Um, I've been loving them, I really, really loved them when we went on our honeymoon, um, it made me feel fancy every night, it's like putting on, like, an alter ego, uh, in a way, and I, I really, really, really like them. Um, so I just thought I would share. It probably wouldn't have been something that I would either have like would ever have considered had I not been getting married but um I took the plunge because of that and now I'm really glad that I did because I feel like they will last me a long time and they make me feel good. So I thought I would share those. And then final few things first one is the body shop vanilla pumpkin range i have the shower gel in my shower but it's all wet so i didn't bring that in and then i also have their body butter which you can see like i've taken a chunk out of here but it's just lovely it's so nice it is vanilla -y. it is pumpkin -y. it's just what you want to smell like at this time of year so i thought i would share that i also had a bath bomb as well a bath fizzer which i was going to use but then the kids spotted it so they ended up using it instead but never mind um but yeah this is great it's got 72 hours of nourishing lightweight moisture and it's vegan and um, phenomenal to dry skin um i'm not sure that 72 hours would ever last on me because i shower every day anyway but um really really good buy um really like that and then the final few things that are beauty related um so they're all things that i purchased again for my wedding um my eyes i use the Too Faced born this way the natural nudes palette and it's complexion inspired eyeshadow palette basically so it's all very in line with like matching a lot of different skin tones that quite warm which generally tends to be the kind of makeup that i go for so on my wedding day i used uh, maple i used um 
shimmering pearl here rose gold and then at the moment i'm using maple a lot with um sugared chestnut and sparkling sand but they are stunning colors really 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 versatile i think it would make a beautiful christmas present as well for anybody that's really into makeup because i've not stopped using this since i bought it and we've gone from the more summery makeup now more into autumn and it does a good job for both to be honest and then the final two things i also bought this it's a tiny mini version for my wedding because i wanted a really good setting powder that came well recommended i've never purchased from huda beauty before but asos does mini versions of a lot of makeups now so if you see here it's tiny but i've hardly made a dent in it and it's the blondie setting powder basically so it comes like this i use a tiny little brush i don't know if that's going to show up for you there um i use a tiny little brush and dot it like under my eyes around my nose places that tend to smudge or like you get a bit of transfer throughout the day so it's really really good i am loving being able to try mini versions of things because committing to a high-end beauty product is a big gamble sometimes and this just completely paid off and look at how much she's left in there there's absolutely loads so it'll last me a long time i can really recommend that i really like it and then finally lola's lashes uh, this is the dear diary set it's looking a bit battered because i've worn them so many times but they are actually magnetic lashes so they come with a magnetic eyeliner I'm good with eyeliner, put it on most days anyway, so I just put that on in place and then stick these on my eyes. I wore them on my wedding day, I wore them every single night we went out on my um, honeymoon and I've got them now for special occasions so I'm 100% going to wear them on Christmas day um, or any like little Christmassy do's that we go on or events or whatever and um, honestly cannot recommend them enough. I bought them on a total gamble because I don't wear false eyelashes often. I've got fairly long eyelashes, so I've not always felt the need to, which is lucky, I know. Um, but when I use the ones with glue, I just don't get on with it. I feel like it's too much faff. You've got to wait for the perfect time to stick them on your eyelids. And then if you miss that, the glue's set too much. And if you do it too early, it's just a glue mess everywhere. This was foolproof. And um, us girls, when we were getting ready on my wedding day, like we were just like, oh my God, these are amazing. These are absolutely amazing. So I can definitely recommend them. And um, if you want in them for like the festive season or you just want to feel fancy, they are great. But yeah, that is everything. So I hope you found this video useful and you enjoyed watching as always. I also hope you enjoy taking advantage of the two months free of Readly. If you decide to, it is a great little app and I think you'll really like it if you're like me. So you have a lovely rest of your day and I will hopefully see you all very, very soon. Bye.